Steak Knife's Dirty War, How Scapatichi, British Intelligence, and Special Branch Ran the IRA, is a harrowing account that delves into the clandestine relationship between British intelligence agencies and IRA, Irish Republican Army, Internal Security Chief Freddy Scapatichi, known by the codename Steak Knife. Authored by Richard O'Raw, a former IRA prisoner, this book unravels a tangled web of espionage, manipulation, and betrayal that marked one of the most controversial periods in Northern Ireland's history. At the heart of this narrative is Freddy Scapatici, a man who was seemingly committed to the Republican cause, yet was simultaneously working as a top-level informant for British forces. This double life began in the late 1970s or early 1980s when Scapatici was recruited by the British Army's Force Research Unit, FRU, and later also operated under the auspices of MI5 and the special branch of the Royal Ulster Constabulary. His position within the IRA as the head of their internal security unit, known as the Nutting Squad, made him an invaluable asset to his handlers, as he had access to sensitive information about IRA operations, personnel, and strategies. The book paints a picture of a dirty war, where the lines between the lawful pursuit of intelligence and unlawful collusion with paramilitary groups were blurred. Scapatici used his position both to protect his own cover and to manipulate the IRA from within. The author suggests that he was responsible for numerous operations against the organization, including facilitating the capture or killing of many IRA members whom he saw as threats to his own security or who were considered expendable by his handlers. Ora describes how the British security services extensively infiltrated the IRA, using a variety of informants alongside Scapatici to destabilize and steer the group. The presence of such a high-ranking mole within their ranks led to a climate of paranoia and internal witch hunts within the IRA, as the organization desperately tried to root out the source of the leaks that were leading to the arrest or execution of its members. This environment of distrust and the resultant house-cleaning operations severely impacted the IRA's operational capability and morale. The book also addresses the morally dubious tactics used by the British intelligence agencies throughout the Troubles. It exposes how the pursuit of a military victory over the IRA often overshadowed any concerns about legality and the potential loss of innocent lives. Scapatici's role as an informant meant that not only were actual threats to the state being reported, but the life-or-death decisions were often informed by the strategic needs and convenience of his handlers, which complicated the ethical landscape. Ora dedicates a significant portion of the text to the high-profile events and killings that were directly or indirectly influenced by Scapatici's actions as steak knife. These include the targeting and interrogation of suspected informers, the design of IRA counterintelligence operations, and the covert influencing of IRA activities to minimize threat to British interests while maintaining Scapatici's position. The author meticulously details the intricate dance of espionage Scapatici engaged in, how he manipulated his IRA comrades, how he fed information to his handlers, and how he navigated the increasingly treacherous waters as the IRA began to sniff out the betrayal within their midst. Scapatici, it seems, was a master at playing both sides, altering the course of the conflict in ways that are still being fully uncovered. Of particular note is how O'Roy holds the British state accountable, stating that the government's complicity in Scapatici's actions implicates them in the very terrorist acts they were ostensibly trying to prevent. By employing an informant within the IRA who was involved in authorizing or committing acts of murder and torture, the British state effectively perpetuated the violence of the Troubles. The revelations about steak knife and the broader use of informants in Northern Ireland raise significant questions about the ethics of intelligence work and the decision-making process within the highest levels of the British security establishment. These questions challenge the perceived moral high ground often held by the state in combating insurgent groups. As the dirty war continued, Scapatici's activities also led to numerous intelligence coups for the British. They contributed to the shaping of the conflict and influenced the eventual path towards the Good Friday Agreement in 1998. The agreement brought about a cessation of hostilities from most of the paramilitary groups 
and set the stage for a political process that aimed to address the underlying issues of the conflict. However, the story of Steak Knife is also one of personal tragedy. Beyond the geopolitical impact, the book lays bare the human cost of espionage, in lives shattered, families torn apart, and the psyche of a nation scarred by betrayal. The individuals targeted by Scapatici and his handlers were often killed without any due process, leaving behind loved ones who later struggled with the revelations of their deaths involving British government collusion. Richard O'Raw illustrates the complexities of the Northern Irish conflict through the murky story of Scapatici and the machinations of intelligence warfare. Steak Knife's Dirty War raises significant issues about state-sanctioned violence, the realpolitik behind peace processes, and the morality of using deeply embedded informants in the context of national security. It exposes the dark underbelly of counterinsurgency efforts and represents a deep dive into one of the most controversial and impactful intelligence operations of the late 20th century. The author's insights, personal experience, and comprehensive research offer readers a chilling account of a time when clandestine operations dictated the rhythm of war and peace. Ora's narrative not only seeks to document historical events, but also serves as a cautionary tale about the unchecked powers of intelligence services and the far-reaching consequences of covert warfare. The revelations within the book prompt a re-evaluation of the cost of such operations on the fabric of society and the individual lives that are entwined in the grand schemes of conflict and espionage. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.